So welcome back friends. I'm very proud to announce we have a new official sponsor to the Wrangler Star Channel and that is the new Acer Chromebook. Now I know what you're going to say. Cody, could you have chosen a more inappropriate sponsor for your channel? But I'd have to disagree. I'm going to show you five ways the Chromebook has made me a better homesteader. This old wood stove sure does give me trouble. I've gone through half a box of matches and I still can't get it to go. Fortunately for me, I keep a Chromebook in my back pocket. And with its long 12 hour battery life, it gives me plenty of time to go on the internet and find solutions to my homestead problems. How to start a fire in my wood stove. And to properly start a fire in your wood stove, you're going to need a couple things. Six road flares and a gallon of 100 octane aviation fuel. Six road flares. I've got those. One, two, three, four, five, six. One gallon of 100 octane aviation fuel. Got that. Arrange the road flares in a teepee like shape and one gallon of high octane aviation fuel. I don't know what's going on. I've been trying to get through this log for five minutes. Fortunately, I always have on hand my Chromebook with IPS display so I can read it in the bright sunlight. How come my chainsaw won't cut? Unfortunately, the only content I can find on this topic is from that Wrangler Star guy. When he's not clickbaiting, he's doing stupid Amazon videos. Another common problem I see from noobs that don't know what they're doing is you cannot run a chainsaw bar upside down. If you try it, it simply won't cut. It's not proper, so don't do it. Wait a minute. Was I running my chainsaw bar upside down? Thank you, Chromebook. That's your help. I'd have never got through that log. I never can remember, is it right to tighten or left to tighten? Fortunately for me, I happen to have on me a Chromebook with two times faster internet connection than most computers. So we can get an answer right away. Which way to tighten a nut? Hey folks, I'm Chris Thornton. If you're ever doing any DIY or you're working on anything and you can't remember which way to turn a nut or a screw to get it to loosen or tighten, it can be quite frustrating. You can say that again. But there's an easy way to remember which way you need to turn it. Let me show you how. To remember which way you need to turn your hand, all I want you to do is remember this simple mnemonic. Lefty Lucy, righty tight. Lefty Lucy. Lefty Lucy. <laughs> it works. Thank you, Chromebook. <laughs> I think I'm going to just loosen them all, just for the fun of it. <laughs> this splitting axe head is loose. A loose axe handle on the homestead can be dangerous. Fortunately, I always carry a Chromebook with a high definition 1080 screen to help me find a solution. How to fix a loose axe handle. Now I'm not as young as I used to be, so the pinch zoom is really handy for these old eyes. All right, a dirty bucket of water. Poppy says, all we need is a dirty bucket of water. Soak the axe head and we'll be right as rain. Thank you, Chromebook. If it hadn't been for you, we might have been without heat this winter. Not only does my Chromebook 
with its brushed aluminum housing and wide angle lens helped me to get answers to common homestead problems. It helps me with inspiration for my own content. Today we'd make a scene that's very happy. Happy. Yeah, a lot of color Lots of color. You can do. Happy little shavings. Happy little trees. You know, this is the fun part of this whole technique. We wash our brushes with odorous dinner, shake them off, <laughs> and just beat the devil out of them. Take out your hostility. Take out your hostility. <laughs> and just beat the devil out of them. Hope you enjoyed the video as much as I enjoyed making it. In all seriousness, I want to thank uh, Chromebook, Acer, uh, the folks at Acer for supporting the channel. You know, I'll be doing videos like this from time to time. Um, YouTube has deemed my content is uh, not brand friendly, um, and they're de demonetizing videos that I'm uploading now. So we're going to have to look at other ways of supporting the channel, funding the channel, and, and we've got some great sponsors that have stepped up to do that. So I'm not going to do a lot of these, but I'll do them from time to time for products that I like. But uh, a wonderful little uh, product. I really enjoy using it. Uh, these can be had, the new aluminum Acer 15-inch for about $3.99. And it's just a great web surfing if you're not familiar with Chromebooks, they're just a great web surf, surfing, surfing computer. I've got my big, powerful MacBook Pros that I pack around, you know, that I, that I do all my video editing on, but they're not suitable for packing around. I'm certainly not taking them out into the wood shop with me. They've got a bunch of hard drives and things plugged into them. So an inexpensive computer like this, it's just a great, uh, tough, solid state computer that you can use for just doing browsing and web stuff. It's all web-based. Uh, is pretty nice. And if you do happen to damage it or break it or, or you have kids or something that, that is kind of maybe a little bit hard on laptops, um, the price point's really good and it's not uh, the end of the world if you do have a problem with it. But again, thanks for watching. Thanks for Acer for this uh, nice, uh, nice Chromebook. And we'll see you guys on the next video.